Hey everybody, welcome back to Creativity and Inspiration. I'm Lisa. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy you found us. And if you keep coming back, you know you're special to me. Today was supposed to be flowers, but honestly guys, I'm tired. My husband Larry had a really bad day yesterday. For those that are new, I am one, a chronically ill person. Two, I am a caregiver to my husband and three I run three different businesses so he had a really bad day yesterday I had a really big art presentation yesterday over zoom very stressful day and then this morning I had to get up super early for a doctor's visit which was I'm not sick it's fine it's when I have to go to for my CRPS but I'm tired and I want to the flowers video justice for you guys because that is a good video and it's easy fun you're going to be blown away at how you can make flowers without using die cuts so i do have a video for you today this is kind of one i've been saving in my back pocket just for a day like this when i needed a video for you guys because i'm not going to leave you high and dry but i don't want to rush through filming the flowers I don't want to leave out stuff with the flowers and I don't want to stay up till one or two in the morning editing the flowers so let's just jump into this video if you also watch my fitness channel or my vintage channel those videos are gonna be up tomorrow they're not gonna be up today either like I said I'm tired but let's head over to the overhead because as you saw by the title of this video it's all about it's all about inspiration for paper crafters, mixed media, junk journals, just anything because it deals with a lot of pattern, a lot of textures, and I've saved these books and I'm excited to share them with you. Okay guys, these are the first books that I want to show you that inspire me in my paper crafting every single day they also inspire me in my painting and i'm going to show you why first let me tell you a little about them these two are flow there's a magazine if you don't know it's called flow it's a dutch magazine and it always has different papers it's a very brilliantly colored magazine in fact hold on I have one. Now mine are, oh, I don't have them in here. All right. So these books are from a magazine called Flow. And it is a great book. It has really pretty pictures, articles. It just comes with cards, interesting cards. Look at that. The paper, the painting i just love this for inspiration but not only inspiration in painting and paper crafts but it has like good mindfulness tips it has good recipes now i, I said this was dutch but i was thinking of daphne's diary this is separate from that and i'm just not quite sure but even the magazine comes with posters, it comes with, um, you know, just papers, pictures, like this is a picture, you could frame this, I could use this if I'm getting homesick for California, just a lot of different things come in the magazine, well, from the magazine came these big books uh, for paper lovers, and I'm going to share, I have two. This one I bought, it's about 12 years old. It's 300 pages of paper goodies. And this is kind of where the idea of flow journals came from. Because technically, you could take this whole book and put make a book out of it. So that's where they got the idea for the flow journal. So I'm going to do a flip through of both of these. And then I have a couple of more books I'm going to share with you as well. So yes, this one's about 12 years old. The other pink one that I just moved is about 11 years old. And I, I very rarely 
use any paper out of these. I just look at them. I tell you, I'm one of those people, I get something nice and because I know I can't run out and buy it again because these are expensive. When I bought this one, it was about $40. I don't know what my daughter paid. I did look at this the last time I was in Barnes & Noble, which is one place you can get these. And um, it was quite expensive. It was, it was like $80 a few years ago, so I'm sure it's 100 or more now. And I just can't afford to buy that, you know, for a book of paper. But look at this. Look, it has pages like coloring pages in it. And they're all, you know, the books each have different themes. They're for paper lovers. But like this one is, you're going to find some more like nature-y, jungle, that kind of thing. Earth, you know, earth. A lot of flower vases, a lot of wood. Wicker rattan chairs. Um, teapots. This, I don't know if you know, I run a vintage tea business where I host vintage tea parties. And I'm going to have to... Pull these papers out, the teacups, and make copies so I can use them for my vintage tea parties. But as you can see, you get, okay, some black and white papers at the beginning, and they have the pretty paper on the back, the pretty patterns. And remember, I was talking to you about patterns. Look how good all these patterns are. These would be great inspiration for a mixed media piece. And then the next section, it comes with like little things you can build, like a little paper greenhouse. There it is right there. And then it comes with fun papers. Like these are the plants you would cut out to go in the paper greenhouse. So it gives you creative outlets. And there's some more papers. There's the bottom of your greenhouse. Just something fun. And then you get some solid papers in here, a bunch of different colors. And again, these are sticking kind of with the theme of outside garden. And then you'll get some stickers and these are all stickers. These are a bunch of stickers. And then you'll get something like a poster. This is, you know, you could take it out and hang it up on your wall. And then this is like a book of skin tones, skin colors. Very pretty. And then origami. It comes with origami. Just a bunch of different ones. As you can see, most of this is still in here. I know. I'm sad, but look at this. I get to look at this. See, repeating pattern. These are like you know, if you wanted to write some letters, more repeating pattern. Anyway, blank pages so you could write letters or put them in a journal if you wanted to. Then these are like journaling cards and these are stickers, more stickers. Then you get some like fun fluorescent, oh, these are more stickers. I don't know if you can see them on there, but they're like stickers. And then calendar. You could put a whole calendar together. And it's undated, so you could, you know, make a planner out of it. Then these are journaling cards. And I did use one. Aren't you proud of me? Or postcards. These are postcards. And these are more stickers, labels to from. Look, and then this, you pop up the little windows, and there's like woodland creatures under there. There's a hog and stuff. Very cute. And then lined paper if you want to write. And all the pattern on the paper at the back is gorgeous. And then this is to give. So they always give you some to share. And again, it's beautiful paper.
And look, I used some more. I used some tags. These are tags. I love those so much. Then this is some paper you can pull out. Different ones. I think, is that wrapping paper? Yeah, I think that's wrapping paper. And then, or this is the wrapping paper, maybe. No, this is wrapping paper. See, it's a wrap. It's wrapping paper. And then more paper. Look at this. Look. All the different patterns is what, you know, I love. Then you get more stickers. More stickers. And then this is notes, a little notepad. All right, I guess I'll put this in off camera because it's definitely not going to go back in on camera, even though I had taken it out before. Oh, look, I got it. Okay, there we go. And then more paper. Look how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, this is just gorgeous paper. Like I said, it'll inspire you to do paintings, to use the colors in other ways. And then those are some stencil letters. And then these are posters for your wall. A bunch of different ones. Okay. Now let's look at the one my daughter gave me, which is was the next year after the one we just looked at. And they're the same way. They come with tags. See, this one has tags. More postcards. More paper. Lots of different types of paper. This one is done by North, South, East, and West, so it has different things. These are envelopes. Tags. Okay. And then a calendar. This is East. And you have the calendar here. May. This is October. Look what cool calendar. So if you like to kind of mix planning with junk journals, you know. That's some stickers, borders. Then you get a notepad. And see, there's your notepad. And then there's stickers. And then you know, there's like um, envelopes, more envelopes to fold up. And, and they're so different from what you find out. See, my husband's doing his physical therapy, so sorry. But look at that. It's gorgeous. This is some... <gasps> Look at these. I, I love these envelopes. Oh, no. These are bags. See, it comes with bags. Look how gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Then coloring. It's all in different order. Then this is something else. Okay. Plants. Just, oh, look at the cats. The cats, how cute. We got animals, see. So you see the difference. You get so much in these. So, but I just can't pay, you know, $80. So I'm very happy that I got these when I did. Oh, and it came with a little dog so you could put on like a little puppet show. Just a bunch of super cute stuff in these. And then another one is a little different. 
My daughter got this one for me the year after the pink one. And this is mindfulness, but it's also journaling cards. You could make a moments jar with these. You can make a journal from them. Has these great papers. I love all of these papers. I love all of these papers. Journaling cards. There's like poems. A notebook. A lot of they give you a lot of like little writing notebooks. They give you ideas in this one for good habits, breaking bad habits, follow your dreams. Just, you know, this one's more mindfulness, but you still get that same flow journal paper and journaling cards and postcards. These are little postcards, not the big ones. You know, I mean, it's just such, they're just such nice books. Sorry guys, my husband's therapist was leaving and my husband cannot open our front door. But this one has different things than the first two. The first two are called Flow Book for Paper Lovers. And this one is a book that takes its time. But it has like little die cut things. Y'all seen me use some of these. See, I have used some of these pages. Just, and again, the, the um, patterns, the colors, everything is an inspiration and could be used in journals, mixed media, paintings. Now, for two books that I think every journaler should own. Altered Books 101, Altered Books 102. These are such fun books for junk journalers. Talks about making backgrounds creating images, making book, um, like hidey holes or jewelry boxes, I guess safes. Look at this one. Making books really works of art. But look, some of these ideas could be translated into a junk journal for sure. Look at this one, it's a clock. I just love that. I would make that. I would make a book a clock. My daughter loves books. In fact, I probably will make her a clock out of a book for her desk. Look at that, isn't that cool? So these books are really fun. They give you a lot of ideas, again, for junk journals. For mixed media, they give you ideas just for pattern, texture, color, theme. I mean, I could go on and on. These books are just really, really great inspirations. Look, fluid acrylics and glaze mediums, you can learn about them if you don't know. Look at this is a book, a hand journal. Hold on, hold on. Sorry about that, guys. My little dog, Henry, the little white one. I don't know if y'all can see him. He's right there. Yeah, y'all saw him. He has gotten where he gets into my husband's trash in his office. And my husband snacks. And, yeah. He licks the papers and makes a mess. So... Okay, Sammy, you gotta get down. 
But anyway, you can see there's all sorts of inspiration, again, for colors, textures, themes, shapes. It's just a lot of fun stuff. Okay, so that was Altered Books 101. This is Altered Books 102, Beyond the Basics. And I just love this idea. Look, here's another clock. It's just so fun. And these are works of art. I mean, your journals would be, your journals are so gorgeous now. These are just like, would make them next level. These are just really unique takes on journals. Oh, wait. <clears throat> I like this, how it's like a tie pocket inside a journal. I like how these have all different themes. They make pop-ups. I love like that type of layered look to it where you have a, um, and it gives you like folding patterns to fold the pages. Whoops, sorry. A spinner. A window. Look at this one. This one's cool. I like to make windows. I like that. And it looks 3D, but it's not. It's just the way it was layered. I like the buttons down the spines. Oh, I like this one with the crackled paint. So these are what I use for inspiration when I want to make a gift or something really really special i don't sell journals that's just not my thing but i know some of you do and this book is you know i like having this book in my library so when i want to make something super different and i can't think of anything this helps jog the old um you know juices there. I mean, look at this. I like this. Sewn collage or this one. Now, see, I like that. Just so many good ideas in these books. And they're not just doing them on the book pages. They're doing them on tags, like a railway tag right there. Just so many good ideas. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget if you haven't yet, Hit that subscribe button with that little bell because the flowers video is coming. We have a lot of great videos lined up. Plus, we'll be doing another We Want Your Opinion video very soon. So, hit that subscribe button with that little bell. And come on, we're trying to get to a thousand. We are so close. We're like 80 people away. 80 subscribers. So, if you haven't yet, but you keep watching, please just hit that subscribe button. Please, please, please. I'd appreciate it. And again, let me know down below in the comments which book inspired you the most. And I always have a question that's not video related almost of the time posted below as well. So check out that question if none of the books inspired you. Take care. I will see you on Sunday. And it's all about paper flowers for journals, for your home, for your planners, for anything you can think of. Mixed media, art. So I'll see you then. Bye, guys. Take care. Have a great Friday night, Saturday. Saturday, yeah. <laughs>